Moving on to the next one. This is kind of a beginner one. This is good for anybody who's brand new to 3D printing. These problems right here, the hair of this uh, Naruto is uh, sagging. So this is just, you don't have support. Uh, the support was not activated inside of the slicing, or we thought we could maybe get away with it or push that back without having to remove support. Um, so what you need to do is activate support inside of your Kuro slicer, Prusa slicer settings, whatever they happen to be, uh, and allow some support to grow up underneath that to hold those up. Uh, in addition to that, on the bottom of this, you can see right here, there is support, <laughs> ironically, underneath the neck of the model, even though it's not underneath the, uh, the hairs. Um, this would be a, a specific version of support where it's between bed to model, but or limited to a particular area of the print, but the print itself was not sitting flush on the bed. So she was sitting kind of crooked up like this, and then the, I'm exaggerating right now, but he was sitting crooked on the bed so that support grew up underneath his neck. Um, and that was the reason to, that that support appeared right there. And if we strip it off, you can see kind of stair steps right there that are the individual layers moving up the slight tilt of his neck. So if you see that stairs tipping, the thing was not sitting flat on the bed, you have support underneath it, it was sitting at an angle, go in, remove your model, uh, lay flat on bed, almost every slicer has that setting, go through that.